I know what you guys are thinking when you read the title of this video. It's some sort of sick joke or clickbait. I wish either of those two things were correct. Unfortunately, everything in the title and everything I'm going to say in this video, it's the truth. Um, I don't condone anybody going out there and witch hunting this person. Hopefully karma takes its own course against them. I wouldn't be making a video on this person or this matter if I hadn't already gone to the police. I've been to the police multiple times with this. I've written down statements. I've shown them all the evidence. In fact, everything you're going to see in this video and more because some of the videos in this are going to be blurred. They saw everything. They were told everything. In fact, this person sexually assaulted the girl that I'm pretending to be in this video. I wish I could post everything that he sent on YouTube and expose the fuck out of him for the dirty, disgusting, sexual assaulter he is. But I don't want to be held liable if anybody finds this person and takes matters into their hands. Or again, that you guys do not take any actions upon this person. If you know him, please tell his parents. Please tell his work. Please tell anybody to screw him over in that sense. Because he deserves it. Justice needs to come against this person. But do not assault him. Do not, you know, threaten him. Because that's bad on you. He's not worth your time. So without any further hesitation, this is how I caught a paedophile. For the sake of keeping the girl anonymous, I'm not going to mention who she is or what her relationship is with me i.e. being a friend, family, or anything like that. Every message that you see in this video is from me, not from this girl. Deck, that goes to you as well, mate. Everything that you thought you were sending to a 14-year-old, every time you were saying that you wanted to have sex with her, every time you admitted to sexually assaulting her, you were speaking to me. Good job. Mike just said he messaged you. I'm fucking pissed beyond belief. He took my phone and saw the messages. I'm so sorry. Sorry. Bit of context for you guys. When I first saw the initial messages, um, I went a bit batshit crazy. And, uh, you know, had a bit of a go at him. He then blocked me and the girl in question. These messages are sent off this girl's private Instagram account um, because I thought, you know, he needs to be exposed. I need to do something about this. The police need to know. Because he blocks me, I couldn't get evidence on him. Question mark. You blocked my main account. I'm just saying sorry again because Mike was a dick and he shouldn't have taken my phone. Okay, do you want me to unblock you? If you want, or we can speak on here. As you can see in the top left hand side of this photo, uh, this is a screen recording of every single message that was sent. The whole screen recording in total is over two minutes long. If you want to see a full transcript of that, they will be on my Patreon. The link is in the description down below. I'm gonna show you guys what I'm allowed to show you on YouTube because there's a lot more in the screen recording that is way too graphic to put here. Not only that, but it would just make this video an hour long and nobody wants to sit for an hour and watch it. But if you guys want to see the two and a half minute screen recording, as I said, the link is in the description down below. Don't worry. Now nah, tell me, lol. Photo. No, because you were told Joel. Haha. <laughs> now nah, I ain't going to tell no one. Don't worry, lol. I ain't like that. Good. Sorry again about Mike. I'm so fucking angry. It's okay, and tell me I won't tell Joel, I promise. Well, you're hot too, aha. Uh -huh. Not sure if Joel is 100% into me, so until I know for sure, I'm keeping my options open. The photo at the top of this screenshot was him saying, you're really pretty, and it was a picture of his face with just the writing over the top. It was nothing special. You know, I'm just acting like a 14-year-old girl who this 18-year-old is messaging and trying to have sex with. Let me know if you want to speak tomorrow. Yeah, of course I do. Good night. Sleep well, Bab. Thanks, you too. And Joel isn't 100% into you, by the way. He just thought you were fit and wanted to do stuff while he was with you. He said that the distance is too far, just thought I should let you know. Photo. Ah, do I get one to save? Speak tomorrow. Nope, long. That was a dick pic. Straight up, just a dick pic. Completely out of nowhere from this conversation, as you can see. It's completely, you know, not even in the theme of this conversation. The reason why I asked for one to save is because, you know, I wasn't prepared to take a photo of his penis. If I knew that the dick pic was gonna come, and it was gonna come out of nowhere, I would have got my camera on my other phone ready and recorded it. Because obviously if I screenshot it, he's gonna see that I screenshotted it and it's gonna be too bait. You send one and I'll send one along. Do you not mind I'm 14? I don't mind that you're 18, just saying. 
Nah, as long as you don't mind, to be honest. Like, my parents have an eight-year gap between them. And the night that he sent this, seven months ago, I was ready. Uh, so this is just evidence that this is an actual verified photo. This is his account. This isn't photoshopped. This is a message. And that is a photo. Oh, I think it's actually a fucking dick pic. Is that? Swear to God. Bro. What do you think to the pic? Question mark. I've never seen one before. Are they all that big? Don't know, lol. Don't really look at other people's. Show me something. I sent a message saying, you know, I don't feel comfortable showing you anything. I'm only 14. I've never done anything like this with a boy before. Oh, can you not show a quick pic of your ass or something? Have you got any sexy saved pics of you? Or pics of you in tights? I used the excuse that I was with my sister at the time and I couldn't take a photo of myself for him. Not without moving and waking her up. Uh -huh. Maybe tomorrow when I'm alone. Oh, okay. You not got any cute saved ones? Not really. Don't really want to send in case you save them. A girl in my school sent them to a guy and they got passed around. I ain't like that, I promise you. You know, a bit more of a conversation went by. Um, again, nothing sexual. You can see the full transcript if you want to. I said, why did you block me? So if he sends a random photo, I say, I'd rather wait until we're in person. There you go. You can see that, lol. So you can send me one. A video now. Please just something cheeky. Once again, I had my camera at the ready and this is what those photos and videos were. Right, the time is... Sorry, I'm shaking. Um... <laughs> The time is 11.04, uh, these conversations started at 11.01, uh, I didn't open anything yet. <sighs> brilliant, brilliant, oh fucking hell. <sighs> I can tomorrow, not really comfortable showing myself, I've never done anything with a guy before. I'm only 14, remember? I know, babe. Don't worry, I won't force you to do anything. But not even like a, a cheeky pick now for my eyes only. Nobody else, please, babe, for me. So this guy's jerking his gherkin, he's 18, to what he thinks is a 14-year-old girl, sending her photos of his penis being jerked off. He knows that this person's 14. I've said it twice already in the screenshots you've seen. And I send here, I'm only 14, remember? I know, babe, don't worry. He knew what he was doing. It was disgusting. I gave him every opportunity to back out. For him to see that I was 14 and say, oh, you're too young for me. But he never did. Can we wait until I'm more comfortable with it? Okay, it don't have to be nude, lol. Just a cute pic of you. There's some on my Instagram. Okay, babe. Anyway, sleep well. Message me tomorrow. Love your kid. Love your kid. Have you ever heard a sentence any more fucking creepy than that? He knows that she's a child. Love you, kid. Okay, babe, sorry I couldn't please you. Nah, you already pleased me by talking to me. Nah, <laughs> night, babe. Love you. You too. I'd only been speaking to him for a couple of hours at this point. You can see from the videos that I've shown the time. And um, he's already saying love you. Oh yeah, you should definitely come. I'll find out when we're going and I can see if I can maybe even get you back to my tent. What happened in your tent? Dunno, anything you want. Game of cards, lol. I always bring my guitar. That sounds good. Sweet. Maybe even a cheeky kiss. I've only ever kissed one guy, so I'm not gonna be good at it. Fancy sending me a cute pic now? What would you want to do? Because obviously I'm still replying to the other messages. Not at the moment, I'm in the bath. Oh, cheeky. Could you show me your legs? No, I'm naked. And I don't mind, to be honest. I'm kind of the romantic one. I like to take someone on a walk, have a picnic. Yeah, just your legs though. Oh, that sounds nice. I can't believe having a bath without me. I'm all sweaty from my run this morning. Why would you want to share a bath with me? Just keep you company, I guess. But you would see me naked. Bikini? How can I wash properly? Oh, okay. Well, I'll just sit outside the door and chat to you. I ain't got the best body though. Here's a photo of his lovely, lovely body. Never noticed. What do you mean? Like, I don't think it was that bad. Oh, you're too kind. You have to show me stuff before you get to see everything, lol. Can I wait until we meet to show you? I just don't feel comfortable showing online. I don't mind, as long as I get to see some cheeky things like bra and pants and stuff. And then another dick pic.
But the dick pics he was sending was strange. It was like he was in full clothes just aiming down from his face with his dick hanging out. Like, not even hard. Like, he just wanted to have any excuse to show his penis. What would you want to see in person? Now, I don't mind you not showing you being fully naked, only. But I would like to see some sexy pics. Only show the ones that you're comfortable showing. He looked through this girl's Instagram account and sent a picture of um, her in tights and said, You got any more in tights? Why? Because you look so hot in tights. You have such a great figure in arse. You're 18. Why would you be looking at my arse? Sorry, I won't do it again. Lol, do you not want me to look at it? Lol, it's a good bum. And I even felt it on Sunday when we was in the mosh pits, lol. I thought I felt someone touch it. Had no idea who it was. Yeah, was me. I'll ask next time. Okay. An 18 year old has just admitted to grabbing a 14 year old's bum. In a mosh pit. It wasn't a mosh pit because I know the situation. It was a camp for children and Christian parents. And there was some Christian music playing and he took the chance to grab her ass. At this point, I called up the girl and I said, did you feel someone grab your bum? She said, yeah, I didn't know who it was. That's what made me reply this. And I told her that it was him. What would the answer be though? I don't know, never done anything with a boy, uh-huh. No, like, well, I ain't saying we would have done anything, because I just want to spend time with you first, because you're such a sweet girl. Anyways, I best get back to work, babe. Have fun in the bath. I'll message you as soon as I finish. Love you. Can you show a video before you go? Just say goodbye. Of what? Question mark. Just a video of yourself and say goodbye for me. Just want to hear your voice. Okay, lol. I just wanted to uh, verify if this was actually him. Uh, so I asked him to send me a video of himself saying goodbye, because he said he was going to work. Uh, it's just evidence that this is actually him on uh, camera speaking to me um, so he can't try and blame this on anyone else. So I did this so he had no excuse to say that this wasn't him. This proves that that entire conversation that we just had where he showed his dick admitted to sexually assaulting a minor that that was him and he couldn't say in court or anything like that that it was somebody else on his social media. This solidifies that. Won't let me click it. Send him chat. Bye babe. Hey, you got the bath yet? Yeah? Add me on Snapchat as well. D Wattis 2019. Yeah, with a fan ATM. What about you? Add me back on Snapchat. Obviously, I didn't want to add him back on Snapchat because I didn't have access to this girl's Snapchat and then he would realise that it wasn't her. 100% you're too good for me to lose. I'm actually so lucky to have such an amazing girl. And are you 100% sure you don't mind my age? Where are you? It looks so nice. And yeah, I'm 100% sure. You're amazing, I don't want to lose you. Don't tell anyone because my mum would kill me. I'm 14 and I doubt she wants to be talking to any guys. Haha. <laughs> what card do you have? One sec, I'll show you a pic. And of course, I'm not going to tell anyone. You know when you grabbed my button? Yeah. What did it feel like? What do you mean? Like, was it nice? Haha. <laughs> Ever had never had someone grab it before? Yeah, it was really nice. It was nice when you held my hand as well. I asked the girl about this, because obviously when I received a message saying, you know, you held my hand as well, I thought that maybe she was down with all of this, as if that would make a difference, because it doesn't. And she said that he grabbed her hand when they were walking and he was holding it really tight and she would have had to make a scene and pull it away from him in front of all of her friends, so she didn't. Like at first, I was a bit skeptical of the fact that you're 14, but then I started talking to you and getting to know you, and I didn't realize you're 14. I thought you were older. You act so much mature and look older, not gonna lie. I look for more personality, really. So here, he solidifies the fact that he knows she's 14 twice in one paragraph. There's no excuse that he says that he could, he didn't know her age. If I was 13, would you still want to do things with me? <laughs> Send me a video, I want to hear you speak again. I'd promise wait till you're older. I'll just get to know you first. Well, I'm glad I'm 14 then. I was scared I was going to get framed and you didn't actually like me. I'm so confused. Like, I thought you had asked me to send nudes so you could frame me. Like, I didn't think I was lucky enough for you to actually like me. Oh, I never asked you for nudes. So how could I have tried to frame you? My family is out the weekend, by the way. Have a free house. I'll see what I'm doing. So I know what he was doing here. He was trying to back up the fact that I'd solicited pics off him just in case. Because if I'd ever asked him for a dick pic outright, like, can I see your dick? Then he can't get arrested for it. So he tried to catch me out there saying that, you know, oh, you asked me, but I never did. Again, if you want to see the full transcript of this, 
The link is in the description down below on my Patreon. I'm not sure, I might be working, but I'm pretty sure I'm free next week. But everyone's going to be, but everyone's going to be in next week. I can take you out somewhere. I'll take you on a date. What would we do though? Well, I'll take you out for a meal. Could take you shopping, then get to a hotel. Sounds fun. Okay, can you now add me on Snapchat? Hmm, I don't think you'll actually turn up. Um, I'll 100% coming to see you. I'll bring a condom. I've never done anything before though. I won't know what I'm doing. I'll show you if you want. When would you book it for? Saturday night. What are you up to? Just chilling, I'm about to go play golf. Oh, never play ball games, I only like running. Oh well, you can play with my balls. I like to run as well. Is that a thing? Lol, yeah. I then organised a meeting with him, which I've recorded some of. I hope the police do something with this information, and I hope this video... I hope this video helps create karma against Deck. Because what he's done is just outright disgusting. He's not only groomed this 14 year old, but he's admitted to sexually assaulting her and intending to meet up with a minor for sex. And Deck, if you're watching this video, because you probably will, because you know who I am and I told you to never message this girl again, you carried on. I just want you to know that karma's gonna come round and bite you in the ass, mate. You're a disgusting creep. And the police know and I know that you sexually assaulted a minor. Sleep well, Deck. Karma will never forget. I hope your mum and dad find out. In fact, I might even forward this video to them because I know who they are as well. Peace.